in your last fight, you, you, you really made a statement in uh, beating a respected former world champ uh, in, in Oscar Larios. But Larios getting a little old. Uh, do you think that Gamaliel Diaz, even though he's not as well known, could be uh, uh, just as dangerous or even more dangerous than Larios? Bueno, de verdad, todas las peleas son difíciles con el quien sea. Sea ya... No, no, every fight, every fight is hard. Is, is hard for me. I mean, the opponent doesn't matter if he's experienced or if he's young. My, my father used to say uh, conditions, conditioning beats capabilities, and that's what it is each and every time I go out there. With the Larios fight, I had a guy who was coming at me, a pressure fighter and a very experienced fighter, and it was a very hard fight for me, even though it didn't, it didn't appear that way. But every time, it was, my biggest qualities are my conditioning and my preparation. Um, but me, I'm a boxer, you know, with the, the Larios fight, I wasn't going to take Larios out in one or two rounds. I was going to work him down slow, slowly but surely and sure enough, get the late round stoppage. Same thing I'm going to do this night. I'm going to I'm going to work round by round against Camaliel Diaz. Looking to the near future, um, you're a young title holder in the featherweight division. Um, and there are three other young title holders in the division. There's uh, Chris John, the WBA titleist, Stephen Lueveno, the WBO titleist. Uh, and there's uh, Robert Guerrero, uh, very good IBF title holder. Um, do you envision facing your peers next year? And uh, who out of that group would you like to, to meet the most? Sí, de verdad me gustaría. Mis pensamientos son, mis planes son ganarle a Díaz con el favor de Dios. Right now I'm thinking primarily about the Gamaliel Díaz fight. If I come out victorious from that, if there was one title holder I'd like to unify with, it would be Chris John. Um, more than anything, so, so I could win the WBA crown in this way, thank my country, Venezuela. WBO, we've tried to make that fight. It, has, it hasn't come through. Um, with Guerrero, truth be told, I've yet to see Guerrero fight. But then again, when I fought Oscar Larios, I didn't see, I, I had videos of him, and I never bothered to look at any of them. And the first time I saw him was round one of the fight. That was the first time I had seen Oscar Larios. And same thing with Diaz, you know, round one, that's when, I'm, that's when, that's when I'm going to see him for the first time. I'll bring up one more uh, potential future fight. There has been talk of uh, you, Jorge, uh, against Israel Vasquez, or perhaps the winner of uh, Vasquez, uh, Rafael Marquez three. Um, I, I believe Vasquez called you out, maybe on the Internet or maybe in Spanish language media. Um, is that a fighter who's on your radar? Is that a fight that intrigues you? Bueno, de verdad, por qué no? Me gustaría, ya que sería una buena pelea. Tendría mucha ventaja de mi parte. First of all, if that fight were to happen, I think I'd have a lot of advantages over him. I'm taller, faster. He's a shorter, stockier fighter. Um, he'd be moving up in weight, and you know, we can't talk about that fight yet because if if he fight, I mean, we have to see who the winner of the Vasquez Marquez fight is. If if Marquez wins, will Marquez want to move to to featherweight? That's what it's about. I'll fight. I'll fight anyone who challenges me. I mean, first and foremost, I got to come out of the Diaz fight, and there has to be a winner to decide between Vasquez and Marquez. All right. Good luck with Diaz. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Jorge. On December 15th, you are going to fight uh, Mexican national Zaid Zavaleta. This is a fighter uh, even I'm unfamiliar with. What do you know about your next challenger? Vi unos videos de este peleador. Y bueno, de verdad, es un peleador. Very aggressive fighter. He's always coming forward. And that's a dangerous type of opponent. But it's also it's dangerous not only for me, but for him. Because he's facing my, he's facing my punching power. You just turned 26 years old. You have to feel at the peak of your physical powers. I know you feel you're on the same level as a Manny Pacquiao or a Juan Manuel Marquez. Is it frustrating that you're still fighting unknown fighters and you're not fi facing the, the, the best fighters in your division? Claro que sí. Para mí, Very okay. frustrating for me. In that aspect, you know, he, he, I feel that I should be fighting better fighters, you know, fighters of the quality of Juan Manuel Mar Marquez and Manny Pacquiao, but... You know, nothing against Zaid Zavaleta. He's my opponent that night, but I wish I was fighting better quality fighters. But unfortunately, I can't fight in the U.S. This is a very significant fight in that sense because, for me, this will be the beginning of my career, um, just being exposed to the American public, you know, on the pay-per-view show in Cancun. Ya 
What do you want to show the American public? What kind of the statement do you hope to make? Mira, eh, lo que les quiero enseñar es lo que la gente what I want to show them is what the public loves to see, a knockout. I want to show them a fighter that's in great physical condition and who's a knockout fighter. There have uh, been some people who uh, have criticized you lately that you, you focus too much on the knockout, that you could improve your game um, in terms of technique uh, or, or, or boxing skill. Um, is that something that uh, you want to focus on or is, is, is that just your fight? Your fight is to knock the guy out as soon as you can. No, o sea, yo de verdad lo que hago es trabajar como ustedes ven. I'm surprised by the yo. comment. He, he <laughs> says you two are very familiar with me. You guys know how I train. You know, not, you know, it's it's hasn't become my focus. It's just what's happened. I'm surprised by the by by the criticism. Well, it's not my criticism. I'm just saying. It, you know what I mean? No, no, yo sé, I know. When you have all knockouts, there's always going to be a question of whether or not you can be a distance fighter. Um, if you're known primarily for knocking guys out in the first round, people are going to wonder if you can be a boxer. O sea, yo pienso que que demostrado está mi pelea del campeonato mundial en Panamá. Yo peleé diez. The Vicente Mosquera fight in Panama it should show, should show the public if I could fight or not. I was fighting tooth and nail with Mosquera for ten rounds, so I feel very. I mean, I feel very comfortable um, fighting going distance with guys. Taking himself out of the equation, who does he think is the best guy at 130 pounds? Eh, el mejor, el mejor. Mira, eh, John Guzman. Para mí, John Guzman. I'm surprised. I thought I thought you were going to say Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> no, no, no. Eh, John Guzman. Pero el dinero está en Manny Pacquiao. No, John, Gu John Guzman is, in his, in my opinion, John Guzman is the best. But Manny Pacquiao is where the money's at. Okay. So if you had a choice on who to fight as as early as next year, who would it be? Would it be Guzman, the guy he sees the best, or would it be Pacquiao, the guy where he sees the money? El mundo dice que el mejor es Manny Pacquiao, entonces quiero a Manny Pacquiao. If the world, if the world says that Manny Pacquiao is the best, I'll fight Manny Pacquiao. It's not so much that Juan Guzman is the best in the division. He's just a very hard fighter to figure out. He's not a hard puncher. He's, he, he doesn't throw a lot of punches. He's just a very confusing fighter. He makes the night difficult for anyone he faces. But certainly anyone, the best in the division, I'll fight. If it's Juan Guzman, I'll fight Juan Guzman after that. Edwin, good luck December 15th. And I hope to see you fighting in the United States next year. Thank you.